Okay, so Global Dokkan just got the Wintertime Dokkan Campaign Part 2 uh, officially announced on the global version. And there are a couple of things that we do want to go ahead and cover here today. So let's just hop right into it, why? Right? Um, <laughs> Frosty Miracle Wintertime Dokkan Campaign Part 2 is on. There's going to be a wallpaper. Um, okay, so this is actually, okay, this is from originally, okay. Uh, the first login after the 24th, which is going to be later tonight, you can obtain Frosty Miracle Tunnel Thanks tickets and Hercule Statues Premium. You can also get Elder Kai's. Um, so, I mean, yeah, if we take a look here, the upcoming missions are for the extra tickets that you'll be able to get to summon on to Knight's Banner. Actually, they're already live right now. Uh, the tickets right here, they're already live in game part one and part two here. You just want to clear a couple of stages. Grip a skill orb here. You are able to get a good amount of tickets overall. So make sure you do that because those are literally free summons. They're just free summons, right? On this banner tonight. So Frosty Miracle Dokkan Festival, the Christmas Eve banner. Um, six of the featured characters can be Dokkan Awakened into LR. So if you take a look here, um, we've got the same thing last year. And this is the banner that you guys should be getting. And here's the ticket banner. It's the same thing, right? Uh, the ticket banner you'll be able to do seven tickets for a multi and i believe you get around like 21 of them or so so you will do like three multi summons of seven characters so you could potentially get lr super saiyan 4 goku gt duo super saiyan 3 goku and super saiyan 2 vegeta i think on my tickets i actually ended up getting the dragon ball z duo uh so that's really really cool um but yeah here again it is just a very stacked banner again i talked about it earlier about whether you should summon or not how the banner format is going to be so if you want a more in-depth explanation i did do a video covering this details of this banner earlier but there is confirmation that this banner is going to indeed work like last year so if you take a look here there's the 120 hours only multi-summon discounts super multi-summon discounts Frosty Miracle Dokkan Festival, obviously just a normal one that's going to go uh, just be live in general. There's the Dokkan Festival ticket summon and then the tons of thanks tickets. So what the tons of thanks tickets are is again is the rainbow tickets that you're getting from the missions that we showed right here. Just these rainbow tickets that you're able to get free summons. There's like no reason not to do them. Um, now last year there was again 120 hours super multi summon discounts. JP member only gets 3 plus 1 for 77 hours. So this is already a longer time for Global. But what should happen is Global should be getting a very similar setup to this. We'll know tonight for sure. But if it's like it was last year, the first three multi-summons are going to be 40 stones instead of 50 stones. Saving you a total of 30 dragon stones, right? Which is essentially, what, that's um six free characters? And then, of course, you had the free multi summon. So if you do just the 120 stones for this, you're getting a total of 15, no, 16 free characters just by doing this, plus the tickets that you'll get from doing the multi summon. Now, it is confirmed that, again, well, you're going to be able to buy the Frosty Miracle packs, which would give you the actual normal tickets. Unlike last year, which had the premium tickets, I believe, this year is just going to be the... Um, normal Star Winter Summons, and then one of the characters is guaranteed to be SSR. I don't think the data had the premium winter tickets, which allowed you to get uh, guaranteed future SSR. That does not seem to be a thing this year, unfortunately. But again, the it's not Star Winter Night this year. It's what? Uh, Frosty Miracle. Essentially, you'll be able to get a guaranteed future SSR if you collect 10 of the tickets. It seems like I believe you only get one per multi summon, right? Um, I mean, again, I said this earlier, but honestly, I mean, there's not a lot coming up on global super trunks there's uh gohana piccolo the tournament of our androids omega shenron rubrian right until like same day basically because we know new year's is not synced and then ninth anniversary is not synced so i would think that if you want to summon you, you are pretty safe i think you're pretty safe to do at least the i, I would recommend global players to do the first three rounds if it's discounted like this that is going to be really good i mean it does state that there are discounts. So the discounts, no matter what, I think you should take advantage of them because there's nothing coming up on Global until Saiyan Day. And, you know, if you don't care about Saiyan Day, I guess New Year's in April, uh, that's when New Year's will be on Global. There's Golden Week after that, right? But 
yeah, there's a couple of months where you have some wiggle room, I think, if you really want to summon on one of those characters. But this banner definitely has more value, I would personally argue. So we'll see how things turn out. But um, you could also buy the 8th anniversary characters with red coins. A lot of people are asking, can you buy Super Saiyan 4 Goku with red coins? I would say most likely not, but we'll find out. I mean, if he, if he is viable with red coins, that is definitely going to be a video I will make. Because um, that will be very important, but... Do not, do not expect to be able to buy Super Saiyan 4 Goku with Red Coins because Tech Gogeta was basically the same format uh, in 2021 where he was in November when he came out and then he came back in December for one of these like winter banners and he was not available with coins. But the 5th anniversary units were available with coins during that year. Was it the, no, it was the 6th anniversary units, my bad. But you guys get what I'm trying to say there. Um, so yeah. Now, we can keep scrolling down here. Dragonstone's on sale, yada, yada, yada. Again, just pretty good sales, actually, I think, overall. And that lasts until the 31st, so I assume on the 31st is when... The 31st, well, the first, kind of, is when the next Dokkan Fest on Global is going to happen. My personal guess is Super Trunks, but we'll probably figure out, like, on the 29th of December or so, right around that time frame. Um... I mean, there's not bad sales, so I, I think if you buy stones, these are good to buy. Now, there's a new Extreme Z area where the GT Vegeta is actually going to awaken. Um, I think that's out tonight. I mean, this GT Vegeta, he's like a decent character. I um, I think he's, he could work pretty well. Like in the Omega Stone Run fight, I think you could definitely take advantage of him. He has the giant ape mode right that could be used in that fight i think he's like not bad at all honestly he he's he's like a fairly decent character i wouldn't say he's anything crazy but you you can like get use out of this guy for a free to play character in some situations so he's not bad new super battle road i don't forget which stage this is but there's a new super battle road stage i think i think in the missions actually would it tell me in the missions um in the missions here it does not tell me which one. Okay, but I forgot, but it's, it's Super Battle is at the heart. And then here we are, content. So the 46th World Tournament is finally coming to global. And very unfortunately, uh, it is basically going to be New Year's Day, New Year's Eve World Tournament. If you guys, hope you guys are very excited about that on global. Um, I don't know why they didn't make it earlier this month, but yep, 46th World Tournament right there. Um... So, yeah, it's going to start on the 28th and then go all the way. I mean, Pacific time, the 31st, is going to end right before New Year's. But, I mean, in most parts of the world, it's going to go into 2024, January 1st. So, I mean, I, I don't know why they do this. Like, they know New Year's is a thing, I guess. But, like, I mean, everyone celebrates New Year's. So, I don't know. Imagine, like, being at a New Year's party and you're like, oh, man, I got to gotta wrap the world tournament here dumb <laughs> but uh these characters that are right now scheduled to be like going on in years from now are actually going to well you know i guess even though the sales ends then well no, the world tournament will end oh my goodness is the world tournament gonna end and then the banner drops like half an hour after world tournament ends like the super trunks banner are they gonna win today? That'd be crazy. <laughs> <That'd> be... <laughs> oh my goodness, that's funny. But um, these characters are actually coming out of global finally. Uh, just quickly, Future Gohan, he's okay. I mean, Tech Cell is like a decent fight you could use him against, but nothing really special about this Future Gohan. I mean, he got helped out by like Sword of Hope Trunks is ex uh, existing, but yeah. Next, we have this GT Vegeta here doesn't show his easy a details for some reason are these guys easy a details in here it's not providing their easy details okay well well this gt vegeta I, I know what he does right he has a 30 percent defense raise for six turns he does guard in slot one he's like a decent character i wouldn't say he's anything crazy in fact let me I, just in case i'm still going to pick up the cards i don't know why the easy details are just not showing but that's fine i could sort by release it with easy a Dude, if you just go back a few months here, they are right here. These guys. Bam, 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 bam. Not that Vegeta. Oh, well. We'll just close this here. Uh, we saw future Gohan. Now, Vegeta, again, he has guard for the first and for first appearance. He has a high chance to guard in someone. 
plus extra 80% defense. I mean, honestly, for a free-to-play character, he's not bad, actually. I think you could get some use out of him. He's not terrible. Like, he could, he could, he's, he's runnable-ish. But I wouldn't say he's good. I mean, he's tech as well, but at least he has guard for the first turn. Um, and then this buff right here on super attack. I mean, yeah, he's not bad. He's, he's definitely not bad, but I just feel like... Like, I don't know. He's like, okay. This Beerus is actually pretty good. If you're on Explode, Explosion of Anger, like uh, Exploding Rage. I mean, that team is not bad. And he has Guard in that team. And then he gets the multiplicative stats here. He gets these multiplicative stats plus an additional defense race for the turn. So you can quad super, right? And he has all these multiplicative stats here. So the start of turn on super, raising defense here. Plus guard, I mean, he's not bad for a free-to-play character. I think you could definitely take advantage of him and, you know, I guess under Pat the Pirate, Goku's team or something. Like he, he could, you could run him. I think they're, they're, like for this team, he's actually pretty good for uh, like a, like a sixth slot on the team. I think you could work out. Um, Super Saiyan Goku GT. This is a space traveling warriors kind of character. He does get a 60% chance to dodge in total if you have a uh, Space Traveling Warriors category ally on the same turn. He gets the stats for the first five turns right here. I mean, he, again, he's basic, but he's actually able to work pretty nicely. I don't think, again, nothing crazy, but 60% dodge chance, right? The start of turn on super attack here, defense race here, and the super attack effect. I feel like his, his defense stack could have been a bit higher, but he's not bad. I think you could get away with him for sure. Uh, next is Demon King Piccolo. He sucks. But it, I think he has a uh, yeah a medium chance to guard all attacks if all is attacking the same parent extreme class. This is like this, this is like worse than Super Trunks actually. Like Super Trunks is like bad, but this is like way worse probably. Yeah, this guy sucks. Oh, wait, wait. And then we you know about this, and then that's all for those guys. So yeah. And that is it. So again, let me know what you guys think. That's global part two. The very, I mean, this is like a week long celebration basically. Cause like starting from the first, like next week, there's going to be a brand new celebration for new years, the new year step up banner, the super trunk should come out. Right. So there, there's going to be some extra stuff next week. This is just for this week, which is like acceptable. I guess there's no actual content coming out for the next few days though besides this Vegeta and the Super Battle Road until the like 28th but you know I guess you know you guys could see GP have New Year's and then um you could like uh play with GT Vegeta in World Tournament cool anyways let me know what you guys think I'll catch you later peace out